In this video, we are going to look at the concept of diamonds. Now, diamonds are a special kind of polygon. Well, they're just a quad polygon, but they're arranged in a very specific way. And diamonds can help you with a ton of different stuff. They can help you when you split your edge flow. So when you're trying to maintain edge flow around a shape and you might need to split two flows off in different directions, the diamond is going to help you out there. And it's also going to help you when you are trying to create these evenly distributed surfaces like we have here. Now we have two diamond polygons in this piece of geometry. Uh, we have one here and we have one here. Now these are doing two very specific jobs. So first off I have an edge flow going around the top here, which I was trying to establish in the first place and an edge flow that runs across the bottom. Now you can see that my first diamond is situated where these two flows split here and here. And this diamond is facilitating me being able to split these two edge flows off in different directions. Now another outcome of the diamond is the fact that I can actually increase my geometry on the other side of this diamond. I've started here with two polygons and after my first diamond here, what I have now is essentially a row of four polygons. Now I've done the same thing here with this diamond and this is because this surface is getting kind of larger over here and I want to keep my polygon size pretty similar. So again, I want to ramp up the amount of geometry in this area and using another diamond to do this is working out pretty good because now I have a row of six polygons after my second diamond. So every time I add a diamond, I get two more rows of polygons and I'm able to establish an even size over this whole surface area from it being very small to pretty large over here. Now without using these diamonds to split this flow and essentially create more geometry like we have here, your topology may end up looking something like this where it's all a bit blocky now this is actually shrink wrap 2, but you can see we don't really have enough geometry to get a decent result here. And what we essentially have is two rows of polygons that are getting bigger in size. And this is not optimal. Might be fine on a flat surface. Obviously flat surfaces are a lot more forgiving when it comes to the kind of topology you create. But when it comes to deforming or bending, curving your geometry it always pays to have an evenly distributed surface and this is pretty much the beauty of diamonds and you're going to be using these a lot they crop up a lot in retopology and just when you're trying to create a surface that you can deform well using either deformers or you're trying to create some geometry that's trying to move around a curve and you may be doing this by hand and a diamond is always a good way to ensure this is going to work out.